All right, Christy, thank you. The Longhorn Tick, native of East Asia, is now showing up in Polk County, North Carolina. The Department of Agriculture has confirmed that find. Yeah, officials aren't sure how the tick reached the U.S., but they're concerned that it's going to affect livestock. 7 News' Kimberly Brown is joining us live in the studio. She has this update for you. Kim. Well, Tom, when most people think about ticks, we immediately think about dogs and even cats. But for those who raise livestock, the new Longhorn Tick concerns them as well. For Brian Miller, farming and raising cattle is a way of life and a family tradition. He's a third generation farmer. News of the new species of the tick leaves him concerned. It is a little bit scary because you're just not sure what this new tick uh, may or may not bring for those of us who farm cattle. The new tick is called the longhorn tick. It's usually found in East Asia, but was recently found in Western North Carolina and confirmed by the Department of Agriculture. So they're concerned right now to animals, uh, livestock, our, our pets. Dr. Meckes warns that this new tick is an aggressive biter, carries disease, and the female can reproduce without the male. While it's difficult to catch everything, Brian uses a variety of ways to help his cattle fight off bugs and insects. From an ear tag that works like a flea collar to an oil rubbed on the animal to making sure they eat properly. In farming, uh, everything's kind of a gamble. So, you know, you do the best you can. You will always lose some, but we try to minimize that as best possible. Dr. Meckes wants to encourage people to remain alert. Current practices for you, your family, your your pets, your companion animals, and your livestock will manage this tick. And that is comforting news to know. Now, officials say they found the longhorn tick in Arkansas, Virginia, West Virginia, and in New Jersey. Hmm. Well, Kim, uh, most people, of course, don't have livestock, but a lot of people have dogs, cats, other mm -hmm. pets. Uh, the state veterinarian touched on that in your report, but are those pets in danger from this tick as well? <laughs> They're not in danger because the Products that we use over the counter right now to protect our animals, mm -hmm. they will actually kill the longhorn oh, okay. tick. So we just need to be alert, stay aware because it is out there, but you can right now fight that battle and keep your pets safe. Yeah, another important reason to give the pets those uh, treatments that you're mm -hmm. describing. Thank you, Kim.